guys, it's Chloe and welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a back to school haul. I am going to be honest with you guys, I wasn't planning on filming one of these this year, but today I went and bought all my books and I was like, you know what, I have done this every year, it's a tradition now, let's just film it. So many people actually requested for me to do this and I was like, I'm not going to let you guys down because I have been very slack with filming lately, I think that's aware by our posting efforts. I'm actually really bad. I went shopping for my school supplies today and I have school tomorrow. So some of the things I actually need for school I couldn't get because they were sold out because I'm just really smart. This year for my subjects I'm going into VCE which if you don't live in Victoria I don't know what that is. It's for you, but basically I'm going into year 11 and we start VCE. So my subjects I'm doing next year is I'm doing mainstream English, doing business management, legal studies, units three and four of psychology, and which is my early subject meaning. <laughs> but then I'm doing textiles, which is like sewing and fiber, and I'm doing viscom or VC and D, which is visual arts and communication. Visual arts, visual. VC, visual communications and design. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> now every year I go to like Typo and Kmart and I always get like cute books, but this year, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just kind of like, I'm just gonna get plain books this year. So I went to Officeworks and I just picked up some books. I just got these color hide books this year and this one had like holes in it, but then as I said earlier, I went really last minute so then there was no other ones of this. So I just got plain books. So I just got, these colors and then because I still have to be extra in a little sense I got matching folders to each book so I got these because I find it really easy to have folders so I can like throw all say practice sacks and tests I can throw just sheets of paper and everything in here it just makes my life a lot easier so that's why I have all these and as you can see each subject has a coordinating book I just think that's gonna make it so much easier so yeah I just got Four color had books and then these zipper binders to put the books in. I also got a extra binder because sometimes it just is handy. I think I'm either going to use this. I think I'm going to use this for fiber because we still usually have like sheets of paper. So this will be good. For pencil case this year, I went very boring and I just got clear pencil cases. This is just my pencil case for every class. And then this one, I'm going to put my stuff for like fiber and viscom in there. So I'm just going to put like my colored pencils and because I need other stuff for those classes. So if you've seen my past, any of my past school videos, you know that I love like color and highlighting my work. So I got a heap of highlighters. I got these like colored ones which are just handy and good to have. And then I also got these pastel ones because I just love pastel highlighters. I am that person that, yeah, like, you know, the stereotype of that girl who has pastel highlighters. It's me. I accept it. It's fine. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier, you probably will be able to tell that I'm not doing maths this year. I made the decision to not continue maths and to basically drop maths, which is so weird to say. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't bad at it, but I get very stressed very easily. School is like incredibly stressful for me. I have like really bad stress and anxiety with school. I don't need maths for anything I'm looking to go into after school. I just decided that maths was going to be an added stress, which I didn't need. So I dropped it because no point. I mean, guys, it's stressful. I don't want to do maths. <laughs> then I just got these Enagel pens. I like these pens. They're just really good pens. These are like kind of expensive pens, but I was like, you know what? I'm getting fancy pens. I didn't get fancy pencil cases this year and stuff, so I got fancy pens. Then I got these just clear refill pockets so I can put them inside of the binders so I can clip them in and then just put the loose leaf paper that I have in these. Then of course I just got some white out. You just like need this go to. I finally got the proper good ones this year. I really hope these work. Every year when I get like tape white out, it always breaks on me and it's literally so infuriating. So and I just got two glue sticks. I obviously don't need two for school, but like ones at home because glue sticks are like the holy grail. I use them for my folio subjects very often, but they just, I never have a glue stick and it's so frustrating. And then I just got two erasers because I don't have any erasers. I have like all those colorful ones, but like they don't actually erase, like they're just a mess. So I got them. I also went to Muji. Now I didn't go today. I literally went at the start of the holidays. If you don't know what Muji is, it kind of is like just a big like stationary organization kind of store. I don't really know 
how to describe it. I just love Muji, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get a whole heap of pens for school. And I kind of forgot about these when buying some other pens, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just not gonna tell my mum that I bought expensive pens when I already have expensive pens. But I got all these coloured pens just because I love writing in colour. Again, it's really handy for organisation. And I also just got these gel pens. They're actually really good pens. They're gel ink ballpoint pens and I really just love these pens. I mean, I could talk about pens for a while, but I don't think anyone really cares, to be honest. These are also things I got earlier in the year. Sometimes I just like buy random things and I'm like, I'm gonna be organized, and then I didn't buy anything else. I just got these calligraphy mark, what are they called? Calligraphy brush pens. I love using calligraphy brush pens. If you know me in real life, you know that I literally write everything in them. So I just got these because the ones I have are running out. And then I also just got these highlighters. I know, highlighters, okay. I keep these at home. So then, like if I forget my pencil case, I'm not stressed because like I don't have stuff at home to do my homework and it just, it's not good. Not me acting like I'm organized and always do my homework. Next, I have this huge box of all of my textbooks for this year. So as I mentioned, I'm going into BCE and for that we need lots of textbooks. I'm just gonna like show you my books anyways because I just like it's so fun looking at all the textbooks. We've got my VCE psychology textbook. And then since it's a three and four subject, I got psych notes for product design and technology, which is fiber slash textiles. I have my VCE, why'd I do that? I have my textbook and this is like for units one to four, so I can use this for two years, which is really good. I have my business management textbook, my legal studies textbook, and for English, I have all the books. Um, I'm pretty sure I was meant to read these all over the holiday, like across the holidays, but I literally got these like a day or two ago and school starts now so I did not have time to read my books because of like COVID and then like late orders and everything. I have to like try and read them really quickly. And then I just have this A4 refillable mini display book. I don't know, they said to order online so I just ordered it, I don't need it. That was kind of dumb of me to be honest. And then finally, oh wait I do have, a oh my gosh, I feel really dumb. So for my folio subjects, I need like display books and I was going to buy one today and they didn't have any, but lucky I didn't because they had two. So I don't know why they're two different versions. One was like really expensive and the other one was cheap. What's the point of that? Oh, because this is a fixed pocket? Oh, I think I need to get a new display book. This one is a fixed pocket display book, but I need a refillable one. So probably have to get a new one for that. And then I have my refillable display book. Which just means I can like add new pages. So then that's for BC and D. And that is everything that I got this year for school. This year definitely, I feel like my haul was not as interesting as past years with my actual notebooks because they're not as cute. But you know, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go basic this year. Basic, well, as basic as it gets for me. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know we have been very slack with posting. Our whole posting schedule has just been a bit of a mess. After being in lockdown for so long and then we we're finally able to see our friends on the school holidays and like lockdowns over, I think we just kind of wanted to enjoy time with our friends and we haven't been filming as much, but I definitely want to get back into our filming schedule of posting every week or every two weeks or just closer <laughs> to posting every week because I know we've been really slack with that. And thank you guys for putting up with us. If you definitely want to see more content from us, we post a lot more on our Instagrams and our TikTok. My Instagram is chloealexandra.xo and all the other ones will be in the description box down below. We have a joint account as well and then our TikTok will be down there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Do not forget to comment, like and subscribe and I hope you all have an amazing and safe school year. Hopefully COVID free and yeah. Bye. Bye.